It's close, kind of. All right, so the next one, this one's going to get a little bit more confusing. It's a little bit different now, um, Ava, than what we dealt with, with add, subtract, multiply, divide. And this is what we're going to call composition. And there's a couple different ways that we write this. Okay? So the first way we can write the composition is sometimes what we like to call fog in the math world because it has this, has this little symbol that kind of looks like it resembles a, a O. So we sometimes say, oh, fog. Or another way we can represent it is simply f of g of x. Okay, it's so the exact same thing, just a different way to represent it. Now, let me get through. Uh, let's go through in a little example here. If I was going to say f of x equals x plus two, right? Then I say, what does f of negative three do? So, what do you do with that negative three? If I wanted to evaluate for this, you'd plug the negative three where? you plug the negative 3 into the x. Right? So you say f of negative 3 equals negative 1. Correct? Well, notice, what am I doing? So this kind of represents this. So when I say f of g of x, what am I doing with the g of x? Well, if it was, remember, that was the f times g. I'll show you how that notation is written. But look at what I'm doing with this g of x. This is inside. This is like in that, inside the parentheses of my f function. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to plug in g of x into the function f of x. So you can see it's going to look something like this. <coughs> Notice just kind of the parentheses. What I did is I plugged the whole, rather than just the number, Sam, I plugged the whole function into the other function. Well, because what's the function for f of x? It's x squared. And I'm plugging in, I want to find f of g of x. So I'm taking what g of x is and plugging that the whole thing into the function of f of x. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, yeah. So now I have g of x. Well, what does g of x represent? Negative x. negative x plus 1 squared. So how do you do that? And please do not tell me it's negative x squared plus 1 squared, right? This is a binomial squared, so we need to FOIL. And you could use the box method if you wanted to. So this is not difference of two squares. So therefore, negative x times negative x is a positive x squared minus x minus x plus 1, x squared minus 2x plus 1. So therefore, you could say f of g of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1. OK? Kind of makes sense? Any questions? Good. <coughs> 